Welcome to LeapFrog Works 4.0. In this video, we will give you a quick tour of the latest release features. LeapFrog Works 4.0 represents a huge development investment securing LeapFrog's ongoing status as our core solution and bringing you powerful flexibility, adaptability, and scalability to meet your emerging data challenges. Built on a new, powerful, fast code base, LeapFrogWorks 4.0 contains a host of performance enhancements, including faster overall project processing and faster borehole loading. Your insights have helped shape LeapFrog and this release responds to many of your requests. We are also continuing to strengthen our partner and cloud integrations with a seamless new connection to Bentley's open ground cloud environment and improved data transfer between Works 4.0 and our own Sequence Central. The features and functionality mentioned in this video are covered in more detail in the online help. Let's take a look now at the new features in Works 4.0. The first thing you will notice about LeapFrog Works 4.0 are its significant visual changes. Don't worry, while it does look refreshingly different, the layout, location of functionality, and the way you interact with and model in LeapFrog remains the same. That being said, however, there are several significant usability improvements with LeapFrog Works 4.0 to make your modeling experience even better. Works 4.0 offers substantial improvements to the performance, flexibility, and usability of the borehole data object. These improvements include faster reloading and processing of drilling data, up to 40% faster in larger, more complex projects, the addition of calculated columns, renaming and or deleting imported columns, and including points in the initial borehole data import window. Calculated columns have arrived on borehole data tables and derived points. You can now develop and implement new analysis workflows using the same calculation tool that was introduced last release on the points objects, directly on all borehole data interval tables and derived points in LeapFrog, opening up countless new workflows. Create numeric and category variables and access metadata, including whole ID, from to interval length and interval midpoint XYZ coordinates. Possible new workflows include calculating variables based on CPT lithology combinations and averaging variables across multiple time steps, along with many more. Please note the existing functionality of query filters on drilling tables remains the same with the added advantage that output columns from calculations are now also available to filter. LeapFrogWorks 4.0 now grants you the flexibility to delete columns imported into works that aren't actually needed. While only importing the data columns you're using for modeling will allow for better performance, you are now able to delete that pesky additional column you accidentally imported that one time. This applies to all imported tables as well as merge tables and composite tables. To ensure you don't inadvertently delete a critical column, a Confirm Delete dialog box will show you all the downstream objects affected and all downstream filters and calculations that require adjustment will be flagged for your attention. In addition to deleting columns, it's now also possible to rename columns in a variety of imported tables, including collar and interval tables, screens, downhole points, downhole structures, lineations, planar structures, and GIS data. Changes made will flow down the project tree. Just like when you delete a column, any downstream filters and calculations that require adjustment will be flagged for your attention. With LeapFrogWorks 4.0, importing downhole data is more efficient as downhole points can now be added to the initial import window. LeapFrogWorks 4.0 also introduces a new way of importing borehole data into your project. The LeapFrogWorks Open Ground Cloud integration enables you to connect to and model directly from your geotechnical data in Bentley's Open Ground Cloud. To connect, simply right click on the borehole data folder, select Import Boreholes via Open Ground Cloud, enter your sign in credentials, select your cloud server, and then the project you wish to access the data from. 
Once you select the tables you wish to import and set them as either intervals or points, the remainder of the import process is the same as you're used to in LeapFrog. Because LeapFrog loads, reloads, and appends borehole and downhole point information directly from the open ground cloud, you can be confident that you and your team are modeling from data that has been correctly QAQC'd and that data security is assured, all while staying easily up to date with the latest from your site investigation program. Improved handling of imported meshes, such as engineering designs in Works 4.0, now allows you to utilize more imported meshes, including non-manifold meshes, in your downstream processes. The improvements are twofold. First, we have improved our classification and visualization of error types detected in imported meshes. In addition to the existing self-intersection object, two new error types can now be displayed as separate objects in the scene. Border edges, which highlight any holes in a mesh, are shown as closed polylines, and non-manifold edges are shown as polylines. A non-manifold edge is any edge on which more than two triangles meet. Each of these error objects now show up beneath the imported mesh in the project tree. When viewed in the scene, the line thickness can be increased or the lines made solid for easier spotting. These error polylines can also be exported to facilitate the mesh repair in the originating software. Secondly, LeapFrog can now differentiate between usable and unusable non-manifold meshes, and this improvement in classification means we can now accept usable non-manifold meshes in several downstream processes. In combination with the existing Remove Self Intersections for Volumes option, this improved differentiation between the types of non-manifold meshes significantly improves the usability of imported meshes and designs throughout LeapFrog. Many more imported meshes and designs are now able to be used for calculations of excavation volumes, mesh operations, boolean and clipping, and geological models as boundary constraints, faults, or for surface generation. We are committed to enhancing your user experience and expanding your modeling possibilities with each new release. In addition to the major enhancements in the borehole data object, open ground integration, and imported mesh usability, we have also added several new features based directly on your feedback. You asked for depth markers down boreholes. Last release, we added depth markers onto cross sections, and this release, depth markers can now be displayed in the 3D scene. Markers are attached to the trace object. You have control over the tick spacing, length, and width of ticks, spacing of labels, and which side of the trace to apply the markers. You ask to be able to reorder units in the in-scene legend. This is now possible for borehole data columns, including calculated categories, interval selections, grouped and split lithologies, imported points and structural data tables, including calculated categories and point selections, evaluation tables, as well as geological models and static geological models when viewed as a single object. You ask to be able to project only a subset of collars onto topography. This is helpful if you have boreholes from tunnel adits or a group of mixed historical and new boreholes where you would like the option to project the less accurate historical collar locations onto topography. In Works 4.0, we have introduced query filters when applying set elevation to borehole collars to allow a subset of collars to be moved. While this feature looks a little bit different, it is still reversible as both the original and new Z values exist in the collar table. LeapFrog Works 4.0 introduces a new option under the points folder called guide points that allows you to now incorporate downhole point data such as CPT into geological models. Categorize points as interior or exterior and use these to guide the position of surfaces. Data that can be used to create guide points include downhole category point data, last points, category data on imported points, and interval midpoints. Advanced functionality improvements have also been made to the Vane tool. For more information about these improvements, please contact your local Sequent technical team. 
As we recognize the importance of seamless software interoperability, we continue to develop improved integration functionality. You can now use the Open Mining Format, or OMF, to easily import 2D and 3D geophysical grids and associated color maps from Oasis Montage, along with OM Geosurfaces. If you are using the optional LeapFrog Works Contaminants extension to help you characterize contaminant plumes, you will discover a few additional improvements. Prior to this version, the only variogram model types available in LeapFrog were linear, spherical, and spheroidal variogram models. These variogram models are not necessarily always suitable for modeling contaminant distributions. Soluble contaminant variables typically have high continuity, and samples taken at close spacing are highly correlated. Modeling of concentration plumes requires a variogram model that reflects such high continuity, such as the Gaussian or cubic model. We've listened to your feedback, and the contaminants extension now supports the following additional variogram model types, cubic, Gaussian, exponential, and generalized Cauchy. These can all be applied to both Krieging and to the RBF estimator. It is now also possible to lock the total sill while variogram modeling. First, you can set the total sill, lock it, and then adjust the range and sill structures within that constraint, making for a more intuitive workflow. Those of you using Sequence Central will discover significant enhancements in the ability to work collaboratively across projects. Sequence Central 4.0 is your shared workspace, bringing geoscientists and engineers together to collaborate and work with project stakeholders in the cloud, fulfilling your requests for better flexibility, usability, and data access. To ensure that more centrally stored data is available for sharing, we have continued to increase the range and number of objects you can publish to Central. The latest additions include borehole traces and structural lineations. When connected to Works 4.0, several new data types, in addition to meshes, can now be shared across projects and branches in Central, allowing you to easily share data that is created and edited in one project with any other project on your server. As of this release, entire geological models, including refined models, can be imported and reloaded from Central and used downstream without any issues or long processing times. Included in the imported geological model are the legend and associated colors, boundary and fault system, geometries from the surface chronology, and output volumes. An overlay on the project tree icon will inform you when the imported GM is out of date, providing you with the option to reload from the latest on branch or from the project history. Other data types that can now be imported from central projects include planar structural data, point sets, and polylines. LeapFrogWorks 4.0 offers you the ability to work more effectively and consistently with data from third-party applications with direct new import capability from the Sequent Data Room currently accessed through Central. Drilling data, including caller, survey, interval tables, and downhole points and screens, can now be imported directly into LeapFrog from the Sequent Data Room, providing you with the confidence that everyone in the team has access to and is using the latest and correct data. Bring in borehole data files from a variety of providers such as CSV, TSV, Text, ASCII, AGS, and GINT. When there is new data available to reload, you'll be notified by an out-of-date overlay on the table's icon. Reload or append one or all of the tables and choose the revision of the file you want to reload from. Please note, currently you will only be able to import borehole data from the data room into new projects. For existing projects, you will continue to reload borehole data from the original source location as you always have. Additional new data types that can be imported from the sequent data room include planar structural data, point sets, polylines, and OMF files for importing geophysical grids from Oasis Montage and geological surfaces from other software packages. For more information about any of these new LeapFrog Works features, check out the following resources or contact your local Sequent office. Thanks for watching.